Hey guys, Brian back again with another video and uh, welcome to 2019. I'm getting some new content for you guys. Uh, you know me, all Under Armour Focus. So I thought I'd kick it off with something special, something really cool that I picked up. So we're gonna talk about these guys right here. These are the Under Armour JBL collaboration, the True Wireless Flash earbuds. Um, one thing you'll notice about these guys they are actually completely wireless, so think about them like you would have your AirPods if you were an iPhone user. Uh, no wires whatsoever, completely independent. And uh, I've been testing them out for the last week. Just got a little workout in to finish it off and thought I'd share some thoughts with you. All right, so first thing you, you should know, uh, like I said before, completely wireless. These things have been phenomenal. They've been really great uh, if you're using them for just kind of everyday use. Just you know, going out, walking around, these things are amazing. Uh, sounds great. Uh, I actually got them in my ear right now. Um, let me talk about the fit real quick. So with the fit, uh, fits right in your ear. Comes out nice and easy. You've got little wing tips at the top to help stick in your ear. You've got the earbud on that side. A little JBL branding, Under Armour branding. Boom. Nice and simple. And then that Under Armour logo acts as a button, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But fits right in the ear. No issues whatsoever, no slippage. Uh, they give you different ear tips so that uh, if you have different, ear different size ear canals, you can definitely switch them out and uh, go about your day. Um, quick note, so you can tell on this ear, this ear right here fits really well. No issues whatsoever. So uh, I've wrestled, com competed in jiu-jitsu, and you know, fought for a long time. So I've got cauliflower ear on this side. And while this one does go inside, you can see my cauliflower ear kind of sticks out. So I do have the bud inside, but there's nowhere for that wing tip to actually fit. So this one is a little bit loose, but I just got done with the workout. I've been running around with these. I've had them in my ear. I can leave it in, shake my head and that ear earbud stays in it's just a little bit of a different fit but i've found a way to make it work so if you do have cauliflower ear the different size ear tips will help out in terms of uh keeping that in there other than that if your ears are perfectly normal you're not gonna have any issues you can run in these you can do burpees in these you can get pretty much any type of workout you want in uh in these headphones um, along with it you're gonna get a really good get case the case charges these headphones uh, I wanted to kind of give you an estimate of like battery life and I can tell you that I use these probably for a good five, six hours straight. I was just playing music, YouTube videos. Um, they lasted as advertised. Uh, you're not going to have any issues with these. This case will charge it up. Um, they say roughly about four full charges. Um, slides open just like that. Magnetic locks. So I just drop it in just like that. Clicks in lights up and then you can see the battery indicator so like i was saying i wanted to kind of give you an idea of battery life but with this case i it hasn't died yet it's been a full week uh as of today and no issues whatsoever i just take them out boom and it connects right to my pixel 3 as i pull them out so once you pair them as soon as you pull the right one out and, and uh it turns on and then that's the one that'll connect to your phone and then you pull the left one out by the time you put that in you're fully connected right to your phone so connectivity is awesome on these uh, no complaints there inside the box really nice presentation under armor jbl so with this you're going to get 12 months to map my run not map my fitness I'm gonna block that code for you so you can't take it. All right, you get your usual books. And then you're gonna get your different size ear tips and your different size uh, winged uh, lock-in feature things. All right, so you got more paperwork in here and your cape charging cable is gonna be in here. Uh, one little disappointment, I mean, depending on who you are, you're probably not gonna care but uh, the charging case is not USB-C. It is USB, which isn't a huge deal. It's just one extra cord you're gonna have to use to charge this up. 
opens right there. Get your US, USB port or micro USB, sorry. Uh, not USB-C, which uh, these are also Bluetooth 4.2, not Bluetooth 5.0, which again, not a huge deal. Uh, I've been able to walk, walk away from my phone, set it down on phone calls or playing music or anything like that, and absolutely no issues. So connectivity is awesome, battery life is awesome, uh, minus my cauliflower ear. And like I said, this thing stays in. I just finished a workout and uh, I've done all kinds of stuff. It stays in, it's just not as secure. So, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, wear these without some kind of concern on this side. This side, no issues whatsoever. Um, so functionality, uh, obviously there are no buttons, very small. So your right ear is pretty much your primary controls. You know, if you're doing a phone call, your end or your answer and calls are going to be on the right side. Uh, your connectivity is going to be on the right side. So if I put the right earbud back into the case, it's going to actually turn off both headphones. Um, I can actually pull the left one out and the right one out and then put the left one back in and still use the right one. Uh, but once I put the right one back in, it's going to turn both headphones off as if I'm trying to turn it off. I can turn it off manually by just pressing and holding. I think it's like five to eight seconds, somewhere in that range. Uh, the left side is going to handle all of your sound controls. So if you are in the gym, someone's talking to you, that talk through feature, press it once, you're good to go. If you want to be able to hear what's around you, let's say you're walking outside or you're in the gym, you don't want to be completely cut off, you press it twice, you'll hear a beep, and that'll bring your ambient sound. So anything surrounding you, you'll be able to hear. Uh, it just kind of lets in that outside noise. Other than that, you can turn these up, let them go, and you'll be golden to just kind of cut yourself off and get your workout in, whether you're running or you're lifting. Um, they're super comfortable and uh, the sounds great. You know, if you've had JBL headphones, it's it's probably a better version of what I, I had with the Rock headphones, the Project Rock Train headphones. Uh, I think the talk through feature on these are a little bit uh, better, but same idea. You know, you're getting the same JBL sound, high quality, good bass. Uh, everything's been amazing. Um, now, I've heard a lot of people talk about being able to submerge these. They are IPX7 rated, which is pretty good. Uh, Under Armour claims that they're waterproof, as you can see on the back. That focuses. Well, it's not going to focus, but you can tell right there the Under Armour logo for their storm technology, which is their water resistant technology. At certain levels, they'll call it waterproof. Uh, I've heard you can pretty much put these in water. Um, some people have claimed they've been able to swim in these. Don't know how gr true that is, but you're more than welcome to try them. I'm not gonna do that with mine. Uh, but yeah, I have no complaints. I think these are great. They're $169 or $170. Uh, last I checked, they were sold out on the UA website, but I know that usually Best Buy or Amazon will usually get some. So I definitely would check these out if you're looking for true wireless earbuds that are comfortable and stay in your ear. Like I said, I tried to kill these battery or the battery in this, um, had them in my ear for at least a good five hours, maybe longer, and uh, no issues, no ear fatigue. Um, I can keep these in, they're comfortable for me. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions on these, I'll definitely do a follow-up if there's enough questions. Just leave your comments below as usual. Make sure you like and subscribe, let me know uh, what you guys want to know about these and uh, you know share this video if you like it and I'll do some more I got some more stuff coming for you guys all right so check it out I'll catch you guys in the next one